Hey guys, it's me Maggie. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video, which was just ranking my 2021 projects, then you don't know that I have an aspiration for this year to do a lot more projects, a lot more fun, cool, interesting stuff, not so much DIY and all that. I really want to make and craft cool things. And I have a tendency to want to recreate things from movies and cartoons from my childhood. So I did a massive haul to kind of prep for that. Also to essentially keep me safe and warm and cozy in my apartment <laughs> for the winter because it's negative 18 where I'm at today. I live in Massachusetts. I don't think this is normal, but either way it's negative 18 out. So I don't want to go outside at all. <laughs> so I have a bunch of stuff from the Dollar Tree, the thrift store, and like clearance items. Basically ran out yesterday when it was, you know, a balmy 32 degrees. <laughs> so I could prep for the winter, if you will. So let me uh, go ahead and change the camera angle because I did not think that through. So hold please. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my Dollar Tree stuff. I already have some like general ideas of what I'm thinking I wanna do, but if you guys have any comments, anything, maybe subject matter you think that would look good with one of these or what you wanna see the most, please put down in the comments because that will help me figure out my content calendar because I haven't, I haven't done that either. So let's get started. First thing from Dollar Tree, I found some squishies, which I never knew existed honestly until I've seen Mariah Elizabeth's channel and Graveyard yeah. Loon's channel. They do squishy makers makeovers all the time. So I saw these and I actually immediately had an idea for them. Figured I'd give it a try. So there's a high chance I will suck at this because I've never done it, but I do have some squishies. I'm thinking I just want to recreate some Disney characters, which I don't know if you can tell who I'm thinking. I'll let you guys guess down below if you want to. But these are screaming to me two very certain Disney characters. So I have those in mind. And now actually that I'm looking at this, now I have multiple ideas. That's another Disney character for him. So I do want to do some squishy makeovers, try my hand at that. I don't know if that would ever be a series for me. We'll see if I'm any good at it, but yeah. Oh, actually this thing, I got this toy at the Dollar Tree as well, um, basically just because it has some wings. So I wanna attach that to the back of the unicorn to make something. So that basically goes with this. So I'm basically everything at the Dollar Tree, I'm kind of doing a makeover, but it's not all toys. So that being said, Another thing I got was this bucket. I plan on painting it, and I think I actually want to do something with Powerpuff Girls with this, mainly, uh, in particular, villains, of course. So I want to paint on this, and then I think I'm gonna hold my brushes in this guy, because right now, the way that I'm holding my brushes is a bunch of glass jars that I typically need for water. So it'd be nice to be a little bit more organized. I also got this fan which I'm thinking what I can do, this is all, you know, not very planned out. I basically just walked through the Dollar Tree and just found stuff. I was like, ooh, that could be fun, that could be fun. I don't know if it'll work <laughs> at all, but I wanna rip off the fabric, which is pretty as it is, I wanna rip it off. And I think I, I don't know if I'm gonna do like paper or maybe some raw canvas that I have and essentially do the same thing with still making it a fan but I wanna paint a scene on there from Fantasia. Um, I don't remember what score it is, but it's the one that has all the ponies and the unicorns and the centaurs and all that stuff. So I think I wanna paint the background of that on this. I think that could look really pretty if I can actually do it, but I think that could be fun. Let's see, what else? Oh, this is just some fabric paint. That was for squishies. Uh, I also got this cup that I again plan on painting kind of like that bucket, but I'm gonna use this I think for my water as my water jug. But um, I wanted to do something kind of more vintage Disney with this. Like I think I might do Steamboat Willie, maybe a different cartoon, but just keep it very gray, gray scale, even though this is very colorful, but I wanna keep the inside red. So I think that could be a lot of fun. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too difficult, but that was an item. Oh yeah, I have some headbands that I found 
that this green one in particular, I actually feel like uh, it reminds me a lot of Haunted Mansion. The green color basically matches their the cast costumes almost perfectly. So I think I want to try my hand at making some Minnie and Mickey ears for Disneyland because I'm so bummed that I did not go did not get to go last year because I was trying to surprise my family and something came up and I couldn't go. So very bummed about that. So I'm just gonna try and reminisce with those. And my battery's dying. So hold please again. Ugh, I'm doing a terrible job today. Let's get back to this. On a different note, I bought these Valentine's Day headbands, which, you know, I could use a headband for the other Mickey and Minnie ears or whatever, but I actually wanted the spring within this because I think I might try to do a bobblehead, but I think I might just use clay, so I don't know if that's really a Dollar Tree makeover. You can let me know if I'm cheating with that, but I think I can make a bobblehead with the springs that they have in this, so I think that could possibly be something. Or I could just make some really kooky Mickey and Minnie ears with that. These, this is not really exciting, it's just filler stuff, foam sheets and some, I don't even know what to call this, floral foam. That's just to help with other things, not very exciting. But what do I have in here? Too short. Ah, I got these dice which I think I wanna do kind of the stereotypical like 70s car hanging thing, whatever that's called. But what I wanna do is these dice, I wanna turn into Oogie Boogie's dice. So I think I'm gonna take some clay, repaint them, take some clay, make the snakes going in and out of it, and then use that in my car. I think that should be fairly simple, <laughs> we'll see. But that is a definite uh, plan for that one. I have a picture frame here, which I <laughs> I have this idea of having characters kind of bursting through the flame. The flame, Jesus. Bursting through the frame. Ooh, that's hard to say. But I wanna have characters basically kind of jumping out through the picture at you. I think that could look kind of cool. I'm not entirely sure on what character yet. I, I have a couple ideas, but not entirely sure. That really, honestly, could be anything. Those are not for project stuff. That's just useful. Um, ah, Brett's more hair stuff. So I saw these, these are just kind of the little like alligator clips, I think they're called for hair. And I don't, I don't know why, but I want to rip off these sweet beads, whatever they're called. And I kind of want to do like a haunted mansion theme. I'm kind of thinking maybe the ballet dancer and the crocodile that's trying to eat her. I think that could be kind of cute. I don't know where I'd wear them or when I'd wear them, except for if I was going to Disney. But that was the instant idea I had with those. So worth a shot. I'll just use some clay that I have to do that. Um, mm, this is actually something for my husband's birthday that I want to create, but it's this little castle wood box, I guess you can say, but I want to do something more like Monty Python related. And I think I could turn this into like a little pen holder or like hold post-its. You'll notice that with a lot of stuff that I do when it comes to recreating or like artsy stuff, I like it to have some form of a practical purpose. I don't usually just do pure knickknacks. I do have some stuff, obviously the squishies and the frame would be like that, but I like things to actually have a useful purpose. I don't know why, but I am like that. You know, I'll also say you can last. Ah, this box. So I was thinking with this, I know there there's a lot of room for a lot of stuff to do with this, <laughs> but for some reason it made me think of the circus. Why, I don't know. But I wanna do something with Dumbo here, Timothy specifically, the mouse. I have this idea uh, this could either be like a recipe box for like note card recipes or I could turn this into like a pen holder for my desk But I want to paint like circus on here and I want to have like carve not carve Sculpt Timothy the mouse with like a bunch of peanuts around and then leave the back of this Empty so I can put recipe cards or I can put my pen or post-its or whatever I have this really cute idea in my head I have no idea if I'd be able to actually do it well, but 
Dumbo. Dumbo for sure on that. There's, there's no wiggle room. I know I'm gonna do it with that one. This is another thing that's not exciting. This. So this is like a little, it's a piggy bank, but it's not a pig. So it's like this little house shape, which, and it says adventure fund. So when I saw it, I obviously thought of up. <laughs> so I think what I wanna do is recreate the house and have some balloons up here. Still keep it as for our coins, cause I have a ton of those. So many coins within my wallet. So it will be good to have a place to put them. But I don't know if I'm gonna paint what's technically the back or if I should do where the glass is. I don't know if I wanna cover up the glass, but I know I wanna do the up house. I'll probably have to use some foam sheets to build it out since this is just a very simple shape, but I know I wanna do the up house with this one, which hopefully won't be too bad, but I have a tendency to put in so many details that what I think is a one day project turns into five, so. All right, and then the last thing from Dollar Tree is this purple dollhouse couch, which uh, this is probably not obvious what this will be for, but this is gonna be for Powerpuff Girls. I am so jazzed about this. There's no wiggle room on this one, okay? If you have another idea, I'm not gonna do it. I'm doing this one, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is actually gonna be for him, if you know who him is. He's the devil from the Powerpuff Girls. He's one of the villains. So I wanna have him sprawled across the couch. So I need to make him entirely, which I think I have fabric, I have clay. I should be able to do him as like a doll. <laughs> and I wanna have him sprawled across this. And what I'm thinking, cause there is an empty spot in the back. I think I wanna put my business cards in here, like hide it here on my desk. So this could be facing out towards people and I can give them a card if I want to, or um, I can just have my cards hidden so my desk doesn't look cluttered. It just has a cool devil from the Powerpuff Girls on it, you know? So yes, I'm very, very excited about this one. Very, very excited. I really hope I can do it well. I'm gonna be so bummed if I can't, but. Yes, that's Dollar Tree. I will like, when I do the videos though, I'm probably gonna be doing like two or maybe three projects in one video. So this is a handful of projects here. Now, now just to add to stuff, I am gonna show you the very few things that I got from the thrift store and the clearance, just so you guys can see all the projects that I have in mind and you guys can help me set up my, my schedule. Okay. We'll start with clearance items. These are essentially all clothing, but you know, it fits. So I have a black hat here, which I'm gonna paint. I don't know what I'll paint yet, but I'll paint it. Maybe I'll do one of these with like the Mickey or Minnie ears, you know? Maybe make this one masculine and then the ears can be more feminine. I don't know. But I also have these two long sleeves which will be perfect since it's freaking cold outside. But I have a blue long sleeve and this kind of purpley like tie dye long sleeve. So I don't know if I'm gonna paint them or embroider them, but they were like five bucks a piece last year. So I wanna do something with them and then I can wear them since it's so freaking cold in Massachusetts right now. But yeah, those are clearance items. I have actually one, one more clearance thing, which I might have already shown over the summer, but I haven't done them. And that's these really cool boots that I had found. I think this was like springtime or summertime, so they were on clearance. But I can paint these, I have leather paint. So I have this idea, it's Cartoon Network, essentially. But I don't know if I wanna do like Invader Zim or Power... Puff Girls or maybe one of each. And then if you just know it, that they're both cartoon characters, <laughs> then you know the shoes match, otherwise they won't look matched, but maybe I'll do that, I don't know. But I think this could be really, really cool. So I have those as well. A lot of clothing stuff. But that's it for the clearance items that I have. I also have thrifted stuff. Last summer, I didn't get to any of those projects, but last summer I did a thrift haul and Ugh. I had a bunch of purses. So this purse is just gonna represent all those purses that I had from there. But this one reminds me a lot of like a Mickey ear. So I wanna do some sort of Disney painting on this. 
So I have a bunch of leather purses from the thrift store. I got this recently. It's more like an organizing system or maybe even for like binoculars, but it kind of reminded me of Roger Rabbit. So I might do something again with Roger Rabbit, paint it, and then I can, you know, keep some stickers in here, keep some of my like branding stuff for my Etsy shop on here. I don't know. So I have that as well. And then the last thrifted thing beyond the thrift haul I did over the summer is actually this clock because my husband and I don't have a clock. <laughs> but I thought this was really cool. This, I have two ideas for it. So either Haunted Mansion and I want to paint the clock face and then there's also like the swinging part kind of like a grandfather clock. I could maybe put like I don't know, Madame Leoto's face down there, and then it looks like she's swinging. I think that could be kind of cool, like she's floating. Or the other thing I thought of was like Alice in Wonderland. And down here, I can either make the white rabbit, so it's gonna look like he's running, and he has a lot to do with time, so fitting. Or I could do the face of the Cheshire Cat swinging, and then do some sort of a scene on the clock face up here. And of course I'll paint the wood and everything. Not entirely sure what yet, but that will be, I think potentially a really cool project. Something that could come out really, really cool and something I'll keep forever and ever. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, that's all that I have for right now. I hope to complete all of that this year. I want to be more consistent and have more videos up this year. I am looking for like jobs and things like that. So I won't have a ton of time but I would like to spend my time with you. So hopefully you wanna see these projects. If you do, maybe think about subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. That will help me out a lot. Maybe give a thumbs up to this video. That also, you know, just makes me feel good and helps a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you stick around. I would greatly appreciate it if you would let me know what stuff you guys wanna see the most and then I will get everything set up to start working on that. All right, cool. That's it for today. I will check you guys next week and that's it. Stay warm. Bye.